If you've been struggling to cut, don't know how to do it, have been struggling for months, maybe years, watch this video to know exactly how to lose body fat, lose weight, and keep muscle for your summer cut. What's up guys, if you don't know me already, my name is Liv, I'm a certified personal trainer, I help members of the LGBTQ community create bodies that they feel confident in using lifting, whether you're on HRT, don't have access to it, don't have supportive parents, but you know, they'll get you a gym membership, I'm your guy to tell you all the information you need to know to create a masculine body or create a body that you feel comfortable and confident in, no matter your gender or sexuality, so we're gonna get right into it, so today the topic I got a lot of people ask me, I'm about to start my first official cut, I've done a mini cut, I'm gonna go over how to mini cut, and then I am starting my first official cut this summer. I've been bulking for a year straight now with a six week mini cut in between there in December right at the end of 2023 But yeah, I've been bulking for way too long and when I tell you I'm excited to cut Oh, I'm excited. You guys don't know what's underneath all the fluff I've been packing on, but trust me when I tell you, it's going to be an insane result. So we're going to go over how I'm going to go about this long-term, like eight to 12 week cut and how you should go about a mini cut as well, because we want to make sure we're doing it safely, maintaining a healthy re relationship with our body and food, not getting too addicted to the scale and numbers on the scale, because that can be really misconceived and, you know, weight fluctuates. We'll talk about that as well, but just keep watching if you want to know everything and all that you need to know to get the best results for your summer cut. So we're going to start off with a mini cut you know this is for people that you know maybe you've been bulking for a while you want to keep bulking but you want to do like a more of a mini cut we're going to start off with those folks when you should mini cut is very important so i don't recommend a mini cut to anyone that unless you have been bulking for a long period of time you feel like you've hit a plateau and you're getting more fat than muscle so this is arguably because your insulin and glycogen levels are shot your metabolism is all over the place you're so used to overeating that your body obviously gets used to it your metabolism gets used to this that is when i would recommend a six week mini cut i bulked for about eight months and I had to do a six week, week mini cut because I was stuck at 155. I'm currently like less than a pound away from 160. So cl clearly the mini cut got me out of that. I did lose 10 pounds on my mini cut in six weeks. So let's talk about how I did it. For a mini cut, you're gonna wanna start on a harsh deficit. I went from 3000 calories to 1600. You do not have to do all that, but I'm gonna explain to you why I did this. You know, I'm only cutting for six weeks. I knew I was gonna start back up the bulk in 2024. So I was like, I, you know, it's gonna be pointless if you slowly taper, because by the time you get into a harsh deficit that's gonna make you lose a bunch of fat, the cut's pretty much gonna be over. So it's kind of pointless. So I always start really, really aggressive with a 700 calorie or more decrease. Now, if you have a lot of body fat already, you have more room to cut, to have a harsher deficit. I don't see why someone would be doing a mini cut if they are already relatively lean. So I would say most people in this circumstance are going to want to start off harsh. And then I do that for the first two to four weeks. Cardio, six, if not seven days a week, 10,000 steps at least, the more the better. Making sure you are getting one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So I weighed 155 pounds for my first mini cut and I got 155 grams of protein every single day. No less than that. A mini cut is very crucial because if you don't do it correctly, you will lose a lot of muscle during it. So I'm gonna tell you exactly how not to do that. Once you get to the two to four week period, you are going to start to increase your calories by 200 to 100, nothing crazy. You'll still be in a deficit and you're gonna decrease cardio. Now you're going to ride that out slowly, increase. So it's going to be a super big drop. You're going to go from your bulk, super big drop, and then the mini cut is going to go like that and you're going to slowly increase till the end of it. The reason being is because your body is going to adjust to that drop, but then it's going to have to start losing muscle at some point. So you got to start fueling yourself more, tapering off cardio. That way, when that first initial big drop, the reason for that is to get off all of the water weight. You're going to lose the most weight during this time because you're going to get off all the water weight, all the water retention that your body has been storing from the bulk. I like to explain why we're doing things and not just tell you what to do. So that is why. Water weight is super important and weight fluctuations and stuff like that, you know, if your weight is fluctuating, it is probably due to your cycle, your water intake, your sleep, all that stuff can affect weight. So don't let the numbers on the scale discourage you. If they go up, it usually means they're going to drop down. Just trust the deficit, trust the cardio and trust me pretty much. That's pretty much all for the mini cut. I saw veins and striations like crazy in just a six week period. And I did lose 10 pounds. So if you do that right, you should be able to get back on pace with your bulk and start gaining weight properly after that. The only reason for a mini cut really is to just get back into the swing of things and kind of start on a fresh slate with the bulk because eating 
3,000 calories a day can get exhausting. And you know, I was over it and I wanted to reset my insulin and glycogen levels because I was really not feeling it. I like to explain why we're doing things and not just tell you what to do. So that is why water weight is super important and weight fluctuations and stuff like that. You know, if your weight is fluctuating, it is probably due to your cycle, your water intake, your sleep, all that stuff can affect weight. So don't let the numbers on the scale discourage you. If they go up, it usually means they're going to drop down. Just trust the deficit, trust the cardio and trust me pretty much. So that's everything for a mini cut. I saw veins and striations like crazy in just a six week period and I did lose 10 pounds. So if you do that right, you should be able to get back on pace with your bulk and start gaining weight properly after that. The only reason for a mini cut really is to just get back into the swing of things and kind of start on a fresh slate with the bulk because eating 3000 calories a day can get exhausting. And you know, I was over it and I wanted to reset my insulin and glycogen levels because I was really not feeling it. Okay, quick intermission. I did want to tell you guys, if you really, really are still watching this video, it means you want to take your shit to Seriously, if you're watching this video, whether you're taking notes, watching it while you're doing cardio, cooking, whatever the case may be, if you're just chilling watching this video, that means you take your fitness seriously. And if you want to invest your money into fitness, I'm an online fitness coach. I specialize in LGBT masculine presenting people, but you know, I take on any co any type of coaching in the LGBTQ fitness space. I'm currently trying to upscale my business. I have team members I'm going to be adding onto the team very soon as well. We're going to make this shit huge. So if you do want to get coached by me, 100 days until summer, less than that until Pride. If you want to be walking around Pride with your shirt off in just your tape or in a sports bra or in, the, on, in a binder with the body of your dreams, now is the time to start. I can get you to that place. I'm your guy. If you want to get it done, my coaching applications are, are linked in my description here. So anyways, now let's talk about how to really, really cut for the summer. Now this is going to be a long eight to 12 week cut. So this is going to be something that's going to be more sustainable. So this is how you're going to start off this. Now, how to know when to cut. If you are uncomfortable with your body fat percentage, feel like you have too much body fat or have been bulking for a long period of time, whereas you don't even want a mini cut. You just want to be done bulking and get shredded for a long period of time. This is what's going to be for you. If it's a weight loss, body recomp, whatever the case may be, this is going to be more of a long-term sort of thing. So what we're going to do is if you're already eating at maintenance or in a bulk, you're going to stay at those calories for two weeks. So just add cardio. If it's a surplus, you should drop down to maintenance, drop down to maintenance and just start doing more cardio, intense cardio, burning 500, 600 calories during your cardio sessions. That's going to be crucial because that's still making the deficit a lot more, but it's also going to get your body. You're going to be fueling your body more with food. So that's going to be crucial. Just like that for two weeks. Once you see a plateau there, it should be around the one to two week mark. You're going to decrease by 200 calories. Now you're going to do this in increments. And then when you see your weight plateau, you're going to weigh yourself every week, average the weights from week to week. And once you see yourself plateau, say you're plateauing out of weight, you dropped a little, obviously there's going to be a big drop off at first with the water weight, you're going to lose probably five to 10 pounds originally. And then it'll start to kind of even out like that. It'll kind of start to, you know, be less aggressive. But if you see a, pla a straight up plateau, drop another 200 calories, drop another 200 calories, increase cardio, increase cardio. I want to be doing more than an hour to an hour and a half of cardio a day though. You don't want to be overworking yourself and overtraining. That's going to be the death of you. Make sure you are getting good sleep. Now this is going to be the key to not losing muscle six to eight hours a day. I sleep like 10 hours. I prioritize sleep so much. And you know, people ask how I look like this is because I walk into the gym knowing I'm doing things outside of the gym that are going to nourish my body, drinking a gallon of water a day, taking my supplements, getting my protein in, making sure my nutrition is on point and sleeping good. Those are the keys to not losing muscle on a cut. You know, you put on all this work during your bulk or you've been lifting and you're ready to start the cut, you know, whatever the case may be. Why lose all of that on a cut and just like just to lose some body fat? We don't want to lose muscle and look like a skinny bitch again. No. So one gram of protein per pound of body weight, no less. Drinking water, chewing gum will help you with those cravings. You know, in terms of foods, I can make a whole video on cutting foods, popcorn, pickles, sugar-free jello, sugar-free pudding. All that stuff is super low calorie, but you know, the normal high protein, beef, rice, turkey. If you want more info, I give meal plans to all my clients. You can go over that in a different video, but today's I've already been yapping for fucking 10 minutes straight. Um, I don't know how long this video is, but yeah. That is how you do a mini cut and a long-term summer cut. I hope that helps. Whichever one you decide to do, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'm here to answer. Make sure you're keeping intensity good with your lifts on the cut. You know, trying to increase volume intensity might drop a little, so you might have to increase volume. Maybe a few deload weeks in there, but yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. This is a bit of a shorter video, but you know, I like doing the more of the educational content side. You know, it's kind of been more my thing. Filming more with Ali soon. We posted a leg day on his channel. It should be out by the time I post this, but I love you all so much. Thank you for all the love and support. If you 
you do want to get shredded for summer or pride, link in description to get to fucking work, bro. If you're getting coached by me, best believe you're seeing results, bro. I don't let any of my clients walk away without results. Um, I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. I'll be in Minnesota for the next two weeks, so the next video will most likely be there. I love you all to the moon and back, and none of this would be possible without you. I've been working really hard. I don't know if you guys can tell I look tired as shit. 9.08 p.m. as I'm filming this video. I just got off two meetings with business mentors, some more people that I'm going to put on my team in the meantime. So to think a year ago, I was filming shitty TikToks with the most mid physique ever. And now I'm sitting here speaking to hundreds and thousands of people and it, changing people's bodies all around the world. It's mind blowing to me. So thank you. Thank you all so much. And I love you guys more than you'll ever know. Until next time. Peace.